Hi guys, Jamie Oliver here. The gang from PG Tips have set me and my team a challenge. To see if we can use some of their brand new tea flavors in some classic dishes. Here is Becky Sheeran, our lovely tea expert on Drinks Tube, to show you how to do a twist on an absolute classic cocktail using Earl Grey. Delicious. Now, if you love tea just as much as I do, this is the cocktail for you. I'm gonna show you how to make a fantastic Earl Grey martini. It's got an amazing combination of flavors. You've got the fantastic tea, the botanicals in the gin, some lemon, some honey, and they all work together so well. So let's get started. So first of all, my favorite part, making the tea. Now we need to make sure this is really strong. We're only using a small amount of tea. So get two tea bags, pop them in a glass, and then we're gonna cover that with water that's just off the boil, around about 100 milliliters. And this is gonna make it really nice and strong. You need to leave that for four to six minutes to really infuse. Take the tea bags out and then leave it to cool. So there it is already, and I've chilled the tea down by putting some ice water around it. I've not put the ice in it, otherwise that's gonna dilute it. And talking about chilling, we need to get this martini glass chilled. So I'm gonna fill it up with some ice. Okay, so now we can get on with making the cocktail. I'm gonna be using a shaker, but if you don't have a shaker at home, you could use a jam jar, a kilner jar, basically anything with a sealable lid, so it's not gonna go anywhere. So first of all, we're gonna add 30 ml of the chilled Earl Grey tea. Now this smells fantastic. This is gonna be amazing in this cocktail. Next, you're gonna need 15 milliliters of freshly squeezed lemon juice. So give that lemon a bit of a roll to release all of the juices. Always do this with your citrus fruits. You're gonna cut this in half. Okay, and then squeeze all that lemon juice out. It smells amazing. This tangy lemon is really going to complement the bergamot in the Earl Grey tea. So 15 milliliters and pour that in. And don't worry if there are any bits in it because we're gonna be straining the cocktail anyway. To balance out the acidity of the lemon and the slight bitterness from the tannins in that tea, we're gonna sweeten things up a bit with some honey. Now, I'm only gonna use one teaspoon of this. We don't want it to be too sweet and also we don't wanna overpower the flavor with honey. And then you can add 50 milliliters of gin. Now the botanicals in gin, such as juniper, are gonna complement the tea really, really well. This is going to be great. Top tip, add the gin last. It's the most expensive, so if you make a mistake with the rest, it's not such a big issue. So that's all the ingredients in. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a stir to mix in all of that honey and make sure it's all nice and mixed together. And then we're gonna fill it up with ice. And then you're gonna get your Boston tin, put it on the top at a slight angle and give it a whack to make sure it's on nice and tight. We're shaking this to give it a little bit of a dilution and to chill it. If you wanna know how to shake properly, click here for the one minute tip. So there you go, you can tell it's done. We've got a really nice chill around the tin and then give it a big whack to open it. And now it's time to get rid of the ice from the glass and we're gonna double strain this cocktail. So get your Hawthorne strainer and your fine strainer, put the Hawthorne over the cocktail and pour that in. This fine strainer is gonna get rid of any little bits of ice that we don't want. I'm gonna garnish that with a lemon twist. If you wanna know how to make this, then click here for another one minute tip. Pop that in. And there you have it, the Earl Grey Martini. I'm gonna try it, I'm so excited. This is my first ever tea cocktail. That makes me very, very happy. The lemony citrus, it just complements the bergamot so well, which is also another citrus fruit. It just smells so fresh. This is amazing. So there you have it, guys. Try this at home. If you're a huge tea fan like me, this is the cocktail for you. If you want to see another martini recipe, then check out Danielle's James Bond Vespa Martini. Shaken, not stirred. Just click here. And of course, subscribe to Drinks Tube, which is an amazing place for drinks recipes. Cheers, guys.